Hello, I'm Lex Pelger, and this is my two minute advice on how to use CBD and cannabis for your health. So CBD is the one that helps balance out your body and doesn't get you high, while THC is the molecule in cannabis that does cause the psychoactive effects. So always start with CBD and just get it from a good manufacturer that's making full spectrum hemp extracts. That means it also has the minor cannabinoids, the terpenes that give it the smell, the fatty acids that our brains use to make our own endocannabinoids, just like the plant uses those fatty acids to make the cannabinoids that it produces. And so always start low and go slow. Five milligrams a day for a couple of days and see how you feel. The thing to note is it might affect your sleeper energy patterns. Lots of people use CBD to help them with sleep, like my wife, and for me, CBD tends to keep me awake. You don't know which category you're gonna be in until you try it, and for some people, it doesn't affect their sleeper energy levels at all. It doesn't really matter when they take it. One uh, other note on timing is it's best to take it right before a meal or with a fatty meal. It'll help it absorb a little bit better. And so after a couple days of five or 10 milligrams, if you're not seeing the symptom relief that you're looking for, keep going up. It's quite safe to be taking 20, 30, 50 milligrams a day. The one thing I, I now ask the people that I work with in my consultations is commit to taking CBD for three months because it can sometimes take a while for it to start making the changes in your system. And part of that is because one of the things that the cannabinoids do is they cause new brain cell growth, which is wild. We didn't even think that happened until 10 or 20 years ago. And now it turns out the classic psychedelics and the cannabinoids do that. And so I know for my cousin with his autism, two weeks of CBD didn't really change anything, but three months at a low dose of 10 milligrams per day changed everything. And I suspect that's because of new brain cell growth. So don't just take this and for two weeks and give up on it. Commit to buying two or three bottles and going through all of them to see what works. Um, and as you're exploring CBD, the one thing you can do is take one week where you take much higher levels just to see if that might not change things, 100 milligrams per day. Because in the clinical studies that are being done out there in the world with isolated CBD, there are kids with epilepsy taking thousands of milligrams of CBD per day, and the worst they're risking is some stomach upset or a little bit of sleepiness. And so for some diseases, you need a lot of CBD, and it's worth finding out if 100 milligrams a day might make a big difference for you. If it doesn't, go back down to your 50 or the 20 spot, whatever sweet spot that works for you. Once you've tried CBD, then it's time to start with THC because it can be good to help boost what the CBD does. And also in its own right, it's a good painkiller and it's also good for mental balance as long as you don't get too high. And that's the nice part about CBD. CBD protects your brain from getting way too high from THC. At the CB1 receptors in your brain, which is where the psychoactive effect of THC comes from, CB1 tends to change them a little bit so other things don't bind there as well. So if you have some CBD in your system, you won't get as high from THC. It'll protect you from that. The way I would start with THC, again, very low amounts. I like the reserve gummies from Plus CBD because they have 2.5 milligrams of THC in them. You can buy those and get them sent to you anywhere in the US, which is a great way to get THC from a safe source that is consistent. And so I would recommend starting with your THC on a Saturday or Sunday morning when you have nothing else to do, just to make sure that it doesn't alter you too much. For most people, they shouldn't really feel much in their head from that. They should feel like they're having a better day perhaps, but they shouldn't get high and not be able to drive. But some people are very sensitive and you need to figure out what works for you. With THC, even more so, you're looking for the sweet spot. It might be two and a half milligrams, it might be one gummy per day, it might be two or three gummies spread throughout the day. The nice part about eating them is that they last longer in your system. But it also means that the THC can take longer to hit. So whenever you're experimenting with THC, wait two hours until you take your next amount of it uh, to make sure that you've reached your peak and that you're not on the way up and then taking more. So in general, THC can be a very helpful thing to add as well. The nice part about the cannabinoids is that to the positive health benefits, tolerance doesn't usually uh, start to happen. So once you find the sweet spot that works for you, maybe 25 milligrams of CBD and five milligrams of THC per day, you can just keep using that same amount and you should keep saying that same amount of health. 
So there's my guides for using THC and CBD. Uh, I can later talk about microdosing psychedelics, which is also helpful. And if you want to know more about this, check out my website, whatwhalecreations.com, where I have how-to guides, or join my newsletter on Substack, Cannabinoids and the People.